G'day. Previously in my 7 Days to Die 1.0 series, I moved to the desert biome, snooped around Trader Bob's compound, and decided to build my next horde base right in Bob's front yard. It's now time to roll up my sleeves and build the biggest horde base I've ever attempted in 7 Days to Die. Welcome back to a horrible day here in the desert. It's raining. Again, I'm not sure why I'm dancing on the spot, but that's, that's what's happening. Because if you look at my screen, I'm standing very still. Anyway, we are off to do a quest because today we got to do some building. Um, but I haven't got any materials, so I think tonight we're going to do some mining. And then tomorrow we'll get into the base building. But for now, to a quest. It's a fetch quest. And it's just down the road, so that's nice and handy. This reminds me of my two years I spent living in England. It rained every day there. That's why they're all cranky. All the time. Ah, look at that. Just like that, it clears up as I, as I roll on in. This is handy. Cool bananas. Alrighty, this is where we're supposed to be. It's the Grand Forks Estate. Of course it is. Look at the oil shale around here. Uh, letter box has been done. I must have done that before. I don't remember doing that. But anyway, let's hit the quest. And anything else we can loot before we get in? No. All right. Let's go, uh, let's go inside. Let us begin, shall we? Right. Uh, what are we doing? It's a fetch. As I immediately go to loot. I just can't help it. It's an addiction. Maybe it's a Facebook page for uh, 7 Days to Die Looter Addictions. Hello. Ow. That was a one-hit kill. Ooh, a four grip mod. Schematic, that is. Probably never make that, but it's uh, worth to get, just in case. You never know what you're going to need when it comes to, to grippage. Ooh, there's a couple of zombies in there. Let's leave that till later, as I make a whole bunch of noise. Oh, oh you're a feral. Oh, my bad. Damn, I'm getting real good at this uh, swinging of the axes. Uh, what's this called? Search Emma. Not an axe. Note yourself, not holding a axe. Now I am, but you know what I mean. Uh, more cops. Dang. Okay, this is obviously a cop's house. It's obviously just the big guys. Holy crap. Everyone big is in here. I am getting strong. Ooh, nice little hobo stew there. That'll, uh, that'll be handy in the horde night coming up. Ew. Oh, it's gone. Hello. Well, that's very effective. I'm absolutely crushing this place. Oh, I see what's going on here. Can I shoot you away? I can. Not an effective way to use my rounds, but anyway. Ooh, can I have this? Oh, I want to take it back to the base. Anyway, I guess Tim Ricky's mod doesn't work on the, uh, on the new posters. That's fine. I will live. How, how did, how did she not wake up? That is insane. Oh, you scared the crap out of me. I'm gonna take that home. Oh, got me a mannequin. <laughs> oh, that was a very manly sneeze, my bad. I'll make sure I edit that out. But if I forget, my apologies. I seem to burp and fart and, and cough in all my videos, which upsets some people. <laughs> my bad. Oh, there's a cop. Ah, there you are. Ah, the shotgun. Ooh, some dye. I should start using more dye. I never really use it. I sort of just throw it out because I don't dye a lot of things because I don't really care what they look like. Usually, I'm more of a practical sort of person. Let's make my uh, shoddy dyed because why not? Look at that. It's purple now. Kind of. Yay. And we have the main loot. Awesome. Cool bananas. That would be it then. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let me just break open these boxes and we'll do a little bit of a loot porn session. Yes, you heard me right. I said loot porn. Here we go. Ooh, some nasty crap. Ooh, shotgun shells. Ooh, farming book to read. Yeah, fuck that corn. Gunpowder goes boom. That was crap. Um, do I really have no lockpicks? Uh, that's gonna be a problem. We're going in manually. Oh, I can't. My thing's broken. Everything's broken. We're going in old-fashioned. See you in 16 hours. It's probably won't be worth it. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I'm stubborn as a mule. Boring. Finally. And it's for Raider Boots and a Forge Ahead and a Treasure Map. Okay. All right, we're good to go. So let's head back to the uh, to Bobby and we'll uh, get a reward. Yay. Nice one, team. Well, it was all me, but you know, you were here watching. Weirdly. You again? Can't get enough of this place, can you? No, I can't. Bobbles. I see a little uh, button behind there. I haven't forgotten about that. So let's. I knew I could count on you. 
Damn Here right. You Actually, you know what? Let's do the repair kits because I don't have a lot of them. I mean, I have 11, but that's not heaps. I searched through Bobby's crappy jobs until I found one that made me really hungry. Ooh, the smokehouse. I don't know if I've been to that one. Let's do that one. Things going to be fine as frog for now. Right, I've repaired everything up, so it's about midday. So let's uh, let's clear this field. Uh, getting ready for our big uh, horde base. Well, it's not going to be big, but I've got to clear this area first. One thing I am noticing with the 1.0 update is the hordes are actually a lot harder. I don't know if that's just me, but I'm finding them very difficult. I'll do my best on this one, but no promises. What is this? A survivor with a backpack. Ooh, ergonomic grip. Nice. Thank you, buddy. Although something tells me it didn't really help you out. And I got an award for that. Nice. Okay, so what do we got here? Just a bunch of trees, a bunch of crap. I'm going to start... Ooh, there's a piggy. I'm going to start clearing this out and then uh, I'll let you know how I go. Oh, that blew his head off. Ah, uh, my favorite. Your car plant. what? I might leave this one tree. I like this tree. So you survive, Mr. Tree. Well done. Right, that's the field cleared. Um, I should probably go do a quest, but I really just want to get this base started. So I think I'm going to start and see how we go. And then tonight I'll do a bit of mining. Using DZ Cam, I've worked out this is about the center right there. So I can place a block where I'm standing. And that'll be our center block. Perfect. So just let me muck around with this base idea and I'll come back when I've actually got something uh, worth showing. Alrighty, so it's night time, so it's time to do some digging because I need to make myself a whole lot more cobblestone. I've made some pillars, but there's a whole lot more to do. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm. Um, this is gonna suck. Let's go. Oh, wait, coffee. So let's drink ourselves a. Let's do a normal coffee first. And let's just get straight into it. Oh, Rockbusters. Crap. Alright, now I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Clay and uh, stone is all we need. That's all we need. Anything else is a bonus. I dug down into the hot desert soil, collecting myself some clay as well as some sand. This carried on for a while, which wasn't that exciting. Because my brain was starting to turn to mush, I decided to get some stone. So I changed tactic and found myself some stone to mine. Then I kept mining and mining some more and mining some more. You can see where this is going. I don't need to continue with this. Everything was going fine until I decided to put some ladders in so I could get out of the hole I just made when something very awkward happened. I know it was awkward because at the end of this, I say it's awkward and it was awkward. That was a little awkward, um... My bad. It was at this point that I realized my character was an absolute chad, because I was doing all this mining while sprinting on the spot. Well done, fun pimps. Well done. Looks very stupid, but uh... At least to get my cardio in. After mining like this for what felt like hours, I realized I was being a complete stupid head because I could just go over to the field and get myself some clay soil. So I did that. Look at me, learning. I can play seven days to die. Hey, <laughs> finally. Ha! Spoke too soon. After that display of extreme manliness, I spent the rest of the night digging up some clay soil. Damn, this is cinematic. Look how cool this is. Enjoy as I speed this up and you can watch the moon set. Well, whatever it does. I guess it's not setting, it's just wispy. Anyway, watch this. Now that's a cinematic angle. All right, so that's enough mining for one eternity. Um, hopefully that's enough to make the rest of our base because you can see it's going to be bigger than expected. I hope you're ready because today's going to be a whole lot of building. Let's do this. 
Because I enjoy punishment, I decided to make my new base 15 blocks off the ground. I decided on this number because no doubt like yourself, I am addicted to watching YouTube videos about base building. And everyone always says that 15 blocks is a good number to ensure Zambies hitting the ground won't go into rage mode and smack in all these pillars that I'm erecting. Although now I am thinking about it, I can't remember what the safe number is. Maybe I didn't actually watch any videos and I settled on 15 because I have crippling OCD and the nice round number of 15 makes my brain tingle. Regardless, I started with 15 and I've committed to it now. Ah uh, crap, I placed a cobblestone block where I didn't want it to be. So annoying. After swearing under my breath for five minutes as I break the misplaced block, I complete the floor of the base. Next up was the stairs that would lead the Zambies up towards the fighting position. I'm not going to show you that I had to completely remake the left hand stairs section due to a tiny miscalculation because I'm still a little pissed off and it's none of your business. I'm a very respectable 7 days to die player and I would never resort into spawning in some developer creative tools to remake the left hand side of the stairs from scratch. It's almost like the fun pimps knew I was a little irritated because it was at this point where a horde of dogs wandered into the area. Now the dogs weren't a big deal, but the zombie bear that accompanied them made my day go from annoying to outright shit. Zombie bears are insanely tough, so I did my best to ignore the bear and continue the build. Realizing the bear wasn't going away, I decided to try my luck and take it out. This ended up being a very bad idea. I'm going to play the encounter back to you in real time. Take note of how many headshots this bear just shrugs off. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Damn you stupid bear. I spawned back in and decided to take out the bear from a safe distance. 15 blocks off the ground that is. Once the devil bear was dealt with, I finished up the other side of the staircase for a second time. The rest of the build was uneventful, so let's just skip to when it's finished and I can show you the completed base. Uh oh. Oh great. Okay, this is a good test for the base. Oh. Hi, welcome back to the sh um, what's happening? Okay, so I finished the base, but this has um, just caused a couple of screamers to spawn in, so... You can kind of see how the base is working, but this could be bad, because if they keep screaming, we're in trouble. Oh, stop hitting on it! Alright, as I was saying, this, this is the base. Uh, uh, you've ruined my intro, but anyway, that was supposed to be a very calm intro, but yes, this is my base. I've done a bunch of stuff, as you can see, and it kind of works. I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm really nervous about uh, the next Horde Night, so I'm calling this the High Wire Base. Basically, the Zambies will come up here, they'll run across this way along this High Wire, and they'll want to jump to me, which is either side of this, which is my two fighting positions. When they do, uh, some will fall down, some will stay on this little peg here, which is the problem I just had. They were jumping this way instead of jumping towards me. But anywho, we'll see how it goes. I'm very infected, so let's go inside and uh, get some honey. And I'll show you the base while I'm there. Alrighty, so here we are inside. Let me get my honey uh, before I forget. And some painkillers for the concussion. Anyways, hi. <laughs> how are you doing? This is my new base. This is how it was supposed to start. Like I mentioned before, there's two fighting positions. One will be this side, one will be directly across the other side. So if I lose one, I can run around to the other one. That's the plan anyway. And as I said before, the little section here is where they're going to jump and I can uh, 
whack them when they're standing on my little my little peg there. Now I'm not really sure if it's gonna work, to be honest. It's too late to change it now, so it's almost horde night. Oh, this is my friend. This is Stiffy. Say hi, Stiffy. Nothing. She's a quiet one, that one. So what I was planning to do before we go and start our day is I still need to finish... Um, I guess I'm gonna upgrade the high wire part. Because if that breaks, the whole... The whole base is going to sort of fail. How do I do this without falling off? Let's do this like that. Nice. And basically all the high wire parts, I'm going to have to upgrade to concrete. Very carefully. Now I don't have a lot of concrete, which is the only problem. But if we run out, I'm going to have to go and try and find- Oh, good. More. Yeah, you keep running. Nice. So for tomorrow for the Horde Night, it's going to be max Zambies at 64 at one time. So if it fails tomorrow night, that's the end of the series, let's be honest. Anyways, let's do something. Let's go do some of questing because I need more, uh, I need more concrete or cement mix. Okay, the smokehouse. Never actually been here before, so this is interesting. It looks like a... A... Shack? I guess it's a smokehouse. No, I have been here. Never mind. I have done one of these before. Okay, cool. So there's no letterbox. So let's just uh, let's just begin, shall we? We shall. I don't know why I keep saying we shall. Shall we? Shall we? Some fuel. Oh. Okay, I see a crawl over here. Ah. Uh, nope. That's not it, you idiot. I can hear him. I can't see him. Uh, did you just wander in, bud? And that's the goodies. All right, let's uh, loot up and get the hell out of here. What an adventurous morning. Main loot. Wow, nothing. Oh, what was that? The extender mod. That's actually kind of handy because I got shotguns, so I'll take that. What up, Bubbles? Hey, you're just in time. Can you hand me the pie wrench? Oh, never mind. I need a break anyway. Well, I got one right here. Uh, shut up, Bob. Right there was some good work. Here is your reward. Ooh, Molotovs for the Horde Knight. Yes, please. And jobs. Let's get another one. Let's get a pass and gas number three. Ah, oh, yeah. You Thanks, Bobby. You must have more guts than you can hang on your fence. That's a lot of guts. Ah, oh, yeah. Here we are. The pass and gas. First things first, let's go through the bins as we always do. Check for fuel and check the vehicle. And I think that's pretty much it for looting. Yeah. All right, let's hit this quest and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Hi, friends. Damn, you tough girl. All right, that's the end of the quest. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Time for a little bit of loot porn. Absolutely not worth it. I've got tools, parts, and everything to make your own vehicle. Wow. I knew I could count on you. Here you go. Pipe bombs for the Horde Knight, please. Ah, for the next one, let's do a fetch at Alistar's cabin. Keep your gun saddle oiled and your gun greased, and you'll do just fine. All right. I've never checked this. We should probably check the ATM. Well, I'm here. So, Mommy Bob, just robbing you. Robbing you blind. Wow, there's points into uh, lockpicking did pay off for once. Ah, uh, yeah, 700 bucks. All right. Also, I was talking to Bobby just then, and he was saying that the base looks good, but it looks very ugly. And I kind of agree. He also mentioned that he might be able to help me with some painters that are coming through the area, which is exactly what he's done for someone else in the past. So I think I'll take him up for that offer, and I want to get this place looking a bit nicer. He actually said they might come across while I'm over at this quest, so that'll be nice when we get back that we'll have a new base. Well, a painted base. Damn, there's a whole lot of vehicles out here. Which is good. I'm going to loot them all. Alistar's cabin. That's right. Cool bananas. Let's do this and uh, head back to Bobby as soon as possible because it's almost horde night and I need to get ready. So many soldiers. Ah. Something tells me Alistar is a soldier or was a soldier. And there is the fetch. Let's, uh, we, yeah, we might as well clear it out. It's a breakfast! What does that mean? 
Where's that little cross quest limit? Oh, I need to turn that off. Oh, helmet light mod schematic. Another thing that's stupid in 1.0 is the fact that the uh, quest limit's set to three by default, which I forgot to turn off. And I will be getting rid of that as soon as possible. Unlimited is the only way to go. I don't know why you would only want to do three quests a day. That's stupid. Fun pimps, stupid. You hear me? Stupid. Will you be quiet, bro? Oh, double banger. Thank you. Shotgun weekly, two of them. Double barrel quality four. Okay, that's pretty nice. And a bit of loot pawn. Uh, I've, I've got a lot of these sledgehammers, which is very annoying. Something better would be good. It's pretty much night time anyway, so I'm gonna loot all these cars on the way back and I'll uh, see you back at the base. Hopefully the painters have been and the base is gonna look much better. Something tells me they've been. There you have it. It looks like Bob's painters came through and the base is looking pretty cool. Very chocolatey and minty, but very cool. Right, I think we're pretty much ready for the Horde night tonight, but first we need to do some questing because I want to get some points if I can, and some concrete, uh, cement. Concrete, cement, same thing. Well, they're not the same thing. One's hard, one isn't. But you know what I mean? We need stuff to make things harder. So let me get organized. We'll have a quick game of pool and we'll be off to do some questing. Excuse me. Excuse me. What up, Bobby? Doggone it. I can't find my impact wrench. Oh, hey there. Random. I'm prouder than a peacock that you got that job done. Good um, job. Let's go ammunition once again for the Horde Night tonight um, because nothing else is exciting. And let's do a couple of I quests if we can. Work. Wango Bando. Never heard of it. Let's go there. We're going to clear Next out the Zambies. Be fine as frog for now. You're a strange man, Bob. You're a strange man. Alrighty, here we are at the Wango Bard at the Wango Bando. Strange name, but uh, that's a, who cares? It's it's gonna be ruined anyway. It's full of zombies. Let's check the mailbox, and we have a book that I've already read. Ooh, level three. Okay, that's kind of handy. I'll take that. Uh, let's try that now. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, perfect. All right, let's get inside and get it done. Oh, letterbox brawler. Meh. I'll read for the XP. Bonjour. I'm gonna shoot you right in the bum. Kills him every time. Oh, maybe not. That's embarrassing. Screw stealth. I'm too noisy anyway with the heavy armor. God, I'm slow. <gasps> Puppy. So I'm gonna start collecting all the puppies and all the cats because I want to decorate my house or my base in in uh, dogs and cats. Oh, I don't have this. I forgot. Or do I? Oh, well, I got one now. I really like how the hazmat zombies sound with the um, muffled grunts. I like it a lot. And another puppy. And another. I already got that one. This could be the end. This is a very small POI. But that's okay. We're getting through the uh, the easy ones. Uh oh. That's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Oh, you're a runner. And we are clear. Excellent. Pretty weak on the looting pawn, to be honest. Another sledgy. Okay, four points available. Let's max out strength. Let's max out uh, skull crusher. 
So next thing I want to go into is big and fast. That'll uh, max out my use of my sledgy now. And then the rest of it, we'll have to see. Well, it depends if we get past tonight. I really think it's worth lowering the uh, maximum zombie count now from the Horde Knights because 65 or 64 is just way too many for me. But I'm shit at the game, so, you know, each their own. Right, let's head back to Bobby. Okay, a steel sledgehammer. That's very nice indeed. What a bubs. I've got tools, parts, and everything to make your own vehicle. If it's getting worse, these uh, quest rewards. Forge ahead, I guess. Let's go traps bundle for this one, because we, we, we could probably put some traps in the base. Although, I, ah, well, see how we go. Cool. Thanks, Bobby. Let's get another job while we're here. Let's just quickly do the Damasa... The d d d Darasa... D that, the domicile. Let's just do that one, because uh, that's the closest. Just remember that pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered, and you'll be fine. Wait, what? So cold beer above my uh, food there. That makes sense. And let's go a puppy there, and a puppy... Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, what's in that trap bundle we just got? Let's have a look. We got barbed wire fence, wood spikes, landmines, pot mines, and traps magazines. Eh. Not too bad. I guess I'll put these downstairs for tonight. Actually, let's do that now. <gasps> I missed one. Put one there, one there. Land mine there, land mine there, land mine there. Oop, watch the mines. I think I... I want to punch you in the face so bad right now. And here we are, the Damascapulated thingy magic. Let's check the mailbox. Home cookie wiggly. Right, let's, uh... Ooh. Let's try and loot this while we can. Maybe twice. I don't know if I've got enough uh, lockpicks for this. Ah, first go. Nice. Come on, good loot. Bollocks. Can I loot it again? Ah, yeah. Here we go. Good loot. Come on. Okay, not bad. I'll take it. All right, let's get in and get this uh, goddamn satchel. Destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. Oh, Jesus. Let's get the crap out of me. And here's the satchel. See yous. All right, we out. Ain't nobody got time. Wait. For that. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're pretty much ready. Let's get all loaded up. And bring on the, possibly the final horde. Let's see. I have no idea if this is going to work. Wish me luck, Stiffy. One thing we forgot to get was concrete mix. So I can't do repairs because I've made these concrete. So I guess if they break, we have to just replace them and uh, hope for the best. Here we go. Oh. Okay, what are they whacking on? There's a cop. Oh crap! One mild problem with this base is you do shoot the other uh, the other fighting position when you miss. All right, I think it's time to go for... Let's do some recog. And we're going to do ranged. Maybe shotguns. Okay, I see the problem with this base is they don't hang around long enough to take a shot at. Um, but other than that, it's working all right. And I do see that they're whacking on the bottom of the pillars, which is not ideal. Um, but it doesn't seem too bad. Damn it. See, doing that is a bad thing. I thought about putting a hatch here, which is something they could stand on more, but then I'd have too many. So it's sort of a balance between... Damn it. It's sort of a balance between, you know, having them stand there and having them not stand there and fall off. How'd you get up there? Okay, the base is looking okay. Oh no! Oh no, my pillar! I thought that was okay! Okay, we got a problem. We got a massive problem. I can't fix that. I can't reach. Oh no! 
Oh, they broke both. Crap. Okay, so I'm gonna go a couple of these. I think we're screwed here, team. Honestly, didn't anticipate the uh, zombies smacking on the the top of the, the. How'd you get in there? The top of the uh, posts. Well, I guess it's the rest of the night. We're just gonna try and pick off as many as we can until something falls down. The way it is on the base, I, if I lose a couple of pillars uh, supporting the base, I don't think it's going to fall down. But if I lose multiple, it probably will. It's three o'clock. We might actually make it. But is this a win? I wouldn't say so. Oh no, my ladder. That just, I needed that. As soon as it hits uh, morning, I'm going to jump down. All right. First things first, let's not hurt ourselves. And run, 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 run. Alright, the cleanup begins. I think I, I kind of survived. The base did survive on very little pillars. Uh, oh, there's more. All right, let's loot up all these loot bags before they disappear, and I'll show you what I get. All right, that's all the loot bags, and this is everything I got from the loot bags. Um, nothing outrageous. What is that? Oh, I've already read that. Never mind. Fickle Adventure magazines, Shotgun Weekly, some boots, some Ranger boots. Uh, we have an agility mod there. That's nice. And a off-road vehicle schematic. We have a muzzle brake schematic. We have a fuel saver schematic. And that's pretty much it. Very nice. All right. Well, the pad did okay. It was definitely a failure in terms of uh, the fighting horde part, but it did survive, so that's a win. I hope you've enjoyed the start of my uh, 1.0 1 journey in this little series, but there's one thing left I want to do before we end this series, and it involves going into Bob's. I think you know what I'm going to do. So I come to the door. I press some secret buttons. Oh, it won't let me move, I see. Okay, what if I do this? And nothing happens. Oh, you can loot. Wait, okay, that's interesting. You can get in, but then you can't re-enter. But once you're in this part, you can walk around and you can loot Bob's stuff. But pressing this button, doesn't seem to do anything. Anyway, that's the end of my 1.0 journey so far. Uh, stay tuned for another series coming very soon. It's going to be very different. It's going to involve some mods. But until then, I'll see you later.